Hey everyone, I'm Luis and welcome to my channel. I just finished a very long video talking about the problem of guild jumping and what can happen. What can happen with it? And I thought I'd do a shorter video just going to the points. And I welcome you to see the um, the strong the strong content longer video that I made but watching this one is also fine so the problem is that when individual players move and they don't bring much players with them maybe they just bring one or two friends or they move alone they mo move to another server that's not too disruptive um unless one condition is met and this is the, the the thing that I will leave last to talk the real problem happens when you have large groups of players moving like one guild or more guilds moving at the same time and this this is a problem if this if this um, if this happens on a, on a target server there is already crowded and very active it will push guilds, if, if your guild is strong, it will push guilds out of the gold league. It will push uh, players out of their typical uh, rankings in the arena, grand arena, etc. All those competitions. And this will make players and, and the server ab uh, pop population, let's call it that way, um, restless and happy. Uh, demotivated because we're talking about you know people who are playing for less time than you because they're moving from a, a newer server moving to your server because they have money they can pass you so that's frustrating so when play one player two players five players doesn't bring doesn't bring much dis disruption but 30 players brings a lot of disruption especially if it's a full guild that joins in the in a, a very active um, a very active guild and moves one of the the top gold gold guilds out of the gold league into the silver league this is very disruptive and this has happened to my server uh, not with one but three entire guilds moving in the short period of two weeks and the result of that was that three guilds three guilds uh, moved in the out of the server in a period of another one to two weeks and my guild finished the transition or will finish the transition today that's the result of that server because four guilds moved out, leaving only inactives and these uh, stronger guilds, and basically the server is dead. If you want to see the details of that, you can watch the other video that I prepared, that I will link here. But that's the result. And now I want to go, before we reach the 10 minute mark, I want to go into ways we can... So we, we talked about the bad stuff that can result we haven't addressed yet the good stuff that happens when we move out of a server to another server but i want to also talk about all you guys can do to not have this happen okay so a lot of players move cause disruption players that are already there the natives the original guilds and players they lose rankings lose gold league lose rewards uh, get less rewards etc results in less activity especially if your guild drops from the gold league so you're not you're not doing any more the csw you're not getting any more the gold and, and csw trophies you're not getting the chance to put five extra players in the competition so that those five players because they were doing it before they become disgruntled they become unhappy they might move to another server and you begin losing players in your guild so eventually inactivity hits your guild and your players and because they get demotivated they might, they might stop playing they might outright quit 
I just move to another guild, to another guild or server, and then your guild might disintegrate. If you don't do anything, and what you can do at this point, jump also. <laughs> if you have no chance of getting back to the gold league, and you risk losing players and the, and the guild, just jump out to another server, okay? So, jumping out might be the solution for some guilds, for some players to rescue from a situation like this. So, not just from this situation, but also in a situation where the server is becoming too inactive, which is what will happen to my server now. It will become inactive over time, and in, in time, the, play the players and the guilds that are still there will also have to jump, because, you know, ha you had seven guilds you had seven guilds that are that were active and strong i mean two very 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 strong and another three medium strong and then the other remaining two weak weak strong <laughs> something like that okay and the bottom four leave I mean, not the bottom four because one stayed, but four of those five leave. Okay? And the three come, three come in. So, net positive. And there's also p other players that, meanwhile, stopped playing and all that, but net po and some of the players that moved with these guilds, eventually uh, some even left with the guilds that left, whatever, that's a, it's a big it's a big mess, but that's let's talk more absolute numbers. Net positive ninety players come in, cause a big disruption. These guilds one of them is the top number one now, the other two top five, top three, around there, top four. They push down or they would push down all the other guilds. The other guilds leave. So that's... Well, not mine, because mine basically 15 stayed behind, but 15 moved. But that's 30 times, times 3 plus 50. So 190... Uh, I was doing the math for, for 30 times 4, but 90 plus 15, 105 players move out. But we had just 90 move in. Okay, that looks okay, okay-ish, but then there's more, because the other 15 in my guild became more inactive. Some of the players in these guilds eventually also moved, and some became inactive, and now suddenly... The p the the transaction of this, and not going to open now the the you know the the guilds list here, but the transaction of this is that the server, and let's call for a calculator here. So imagine imagine you have seven top guilds. That's uh, thirty times seven. That's two hundred ish players of these 200 maybe 150 are really active so you have 150 and um, these discover most of the guilds but uh, I don't know half of these numbers move out or more and you end up uh, with um, maybe more than half I think you end up with only uh, really active five guilds so the one that moved in the last two weeks the other two that moved because another one invited them in over and then the remaining original guild that, that stayed there so four guilds four guilds stayed active and strong instead of seven that's the result and not all of these players are active, and in these guilds there are also um, players dropping activity and guilds losing players. We literally like not anymore thirty of thirty, but twenty-eight, twenty-seven of thirty players. 
So that's the result. Consequences, guilds um, missing out, dropping, moving out, and server becoming inactive. So consequences, good things. Those guilds that moved, they will look for a new home that can accept them. And now this brings me to what you can do as a player. So as a player, I ask that you look for a server that fits you. As a guild master, guild master to guild master, general to general, look for a server where your guild can fit. And not to a crowded server, and not to full server, okay? So look for, if you want and if you need to jump, look for a server, for example, that has five active strong guilds in gold league and one inactive something like that because those inactives and and less strong that they they can't match the other teams it doesn't matter if they move to to silver because if they stay in top top ranking of silver they get basically uh, compared to gold gold six uh, position they get the same result the same rewards except for the gold trophies and the csw but maybe that guild is not even that active to be fighting the gold the gold league daily maybe they only have 15 fit and active players and the other five are just scraps that they, they found maybe they're not doing any any good in the csw so Look for those type of servers when you want to move a guild. For a morality question, contact the players on those servers in, in their discords and see, hey, can we move here and range for that? Can we move here? Find a, a list of five five servers, you know, make a make make that list. Go in those discords and ask, hey, can we fit in here? Can you guys welcome us? Is this a good server to be in? Can we move here? I mean, you can always move anywhere, but do you really want to push against the the native guilds of a server and feel like like an an uh, invading body in another body, like a virus in a, in a, in a, um, an animal or a human? Do you want to feel that a foreign? No, you want to be integrated. So look for a server that will welcome you because they have room for you okay don't ruin the game for the other players don't ruin the server for the other players don't bring your guild in or multiple guilds in as it happened to my server and then you push the guilds out of the of the competition and then they decide to leave and leave the, the server in, in ruin don't do that orchestrate this with the other guild masters find the discords and talk and ask if it's healthy to move in okay now last as I did in the other video a message for nexters you need to find a way of preventing very 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 strong um, very very strong um, players from moving into very very weak servers okay easy way to do that okay you check you, you put a formula in the game and you make these calculations weekly minimum and you check average what is it the total what is the total power of this player that wants to move one million okay what is the average power of the players in the six top guilds so say I mean meaning the 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 guilds in the in the gold league what is their average power average average euro total power because that's the easiest thing to check and you can also check for titan power what is their average is it 500,000 when the the guy moving or the girl moving has 1 million that's two times the other ones so reject easy put in place this Next is, please take care of this problem for us. If you do this, 
you will prevent big problems like this one that we already experienced in our server. It would never have been have been a problem if the if these guilds were not able to move because of their individual power levels. Okay? Simple math. And maybe another thing you can you can check is but this is this is I mean this is hard to do. I don't think it will ever be implemented. Uh, moving an entire guild together. Maybe the guild master can even pay for that. I don't know. It's an option. Maybe the players need to consent before moving. And then when you do that, you check for example activity levels and all that and see oh this server already has six positions in gold taken with very very active guilds so no you cannot go here and this one oh this one has one one slot free then you can move this is very hard to do but technically technically and morally difficult to do but could be another way of implementing measures to prevent a full guild of moving to another server when they don't care and why do I say that because one of the guilds I moved here they just came for bullying to they just came to follow a guild that moved here uh, weeks or months ago and they just they found out and they and they wanted to keep fighting that guild and bully that guild so they moved in here and they were harassing them with their reward times and all that so it's difficult to it's difficult to have this respected but I ask that all of you individually abide to some morality and try to respect other players with their reward times and all that and try to see what is best for everyone and not just best for you okay and maybe in the end it's also best for you if you don't if you don't annoy and upset and make people angry because in the end you will also lose not just them and this is what up what is happening in our in our server four guilds moved out server is now inactive basically because remains only four active guilds and they're losing players and eventually if they stay they will become inactive so they have only two options move out or invite more guilds in but which guilds will want to move in here with a guild that doesn't respect reward times that attacks players in their reward times one two three minutes before their reward time and they are on completely different time zones like 10 hours difference because they are just you know trying to make problems they should be sleeping when they are doing this they're not they want to create problems so how do you fight that uh, either nexters puts either nexters puts um, formulas and rules against that or I just have to ask for the common sense of you all Please respect others. Please collaborate with others. Don't come in here showing your money in the face, you know, like this, showing your money, just the paper, showing your money in the face of others. Yeah, I have a lot of money. I make a lot of money. I can pass you in three months' time. I just joined. And now I can put a hundred thousand euros and dollars and I can pass you. And now I'm on top, top 50. Take that. I'm a spoiled kid. I'm 15 years old. But my parents support me and give me all the money in the world because they can and I can also. So I do whatever I want. And take that in your face. In your face. I mean, grow up, man. Fucking grow up. <laughs> well, with that, I fare you well. Goodbye for today and enjoy the game. And Tikondos on those things that I mentioned please make us all a favor and, and, and 
check on those servers before moving okay see you all bye bye much hugs <laughs>